Hello Art Beaters, Becky here for ArtBeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm going to be sharing my tips and tricks for beading on the go. So I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite products from ArtBeads.com that makes traveling while beading a little bit easier. So let's dive in. Before we dive into the beading on the go things, I did want to say we have a new design studio tutorial on the website now, artbeats.com. I made this lovely little Valentine's Day peyote stitch bracelet. It is made with Toho Icos, which are precision cylinder seed beads. They're so wonderful to work with and they feel so good. And I chose some kind of subtle Valentine colors. So you could wear this into Valentine's Day and beyond. They're just really nice colors. Some darker reds, some rose gold some kind of blush tones in there. Really love how this one turned out. I've got a PDF diagram for you on how to do this as well as instructions. It is an odd count peyote stitch bracelet and it's finished off with that lovely tear cast button there. So this is new in our design studio today. Make sure to check that out. We've got a free tutorial for that one and it's right on the homepage, artbeads.com. You'll find it in our section of all of our tutorials. So that's beautiful. All right, beating on the go. So I am going to the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. It's going to be a lot of fun. Of course, I'm going to have to bring beads and tools to make jewelry while I'm there because um, you never know. You might get inspired by all the pretty things <laughs> you see. But it's also good if you're a beater, like I'm assuming a lot of you are that are watching, you want to take your work with you sometimes. It's a great way to pass time while traveling, whether you're driving, on the plane, what have you. It's nice to bring your work with you and get some stuff done during your travel time. So we have excellent tools and supplies to help you do that. One of my favorites is the Bead Buddy Junior Travel Case. This is a blank case, but I have decorated mine with stickers, like a suitcase, like a traveling suitcase. I just put stickers from all my travels um, onto my Bead Buddy board. So this is a travel case and you can see I've got stickers from all over. Packwood, that's in the Pacific Northwest. I've got some Australia stickers. Really fun. Um, love this case. So it just has these little uh, clasps that you open up and then it's got two bead mats on either side. Let me open this up over here so you can see. Uh, there we go. Um, so it's got two sides and they do come apart so you can use them separately too, which I like. And then they're easy to connect back together. And this is really great. It closes really tightly. Um, so you can put your tools in there, your beads, and it just keeps everything in place while you're traveling. You can bring it with you anywhere. It's a really nice slim design so it doesn't take up too much space in your carry-on or your backpack. Really great case. And as you can see, I like decorating mine with stickers. So that's one of my favorites. I've got links to that in the video description. Such a great case that you can bring with you everywhere. And I, I use it all the time because some of the times I'm working from home and some of the times I come into the office, it's great for bringing projects back and forth from the office to home. And it's great for travel too. If you're going on a plane, a train, a car, it's wonderful. Um, this Beetle on Tacky Mat, I love this mat. It does not move. You can see I'm really pushing on it. It sticks and adheres to any surface. So this is great. Like on a plane, you've got those folding trays. This is not going to move. And when you pour beads on it too, the beads um, don't roll around everywhere either. They just kind of stay in place. So you can see that it doesn't really, the beads don't really roll. So really nice tacky mat from Beetle On. Just keeps everything in place really nicely, especially on something that's moving like a car, a train, a plane, your beads are not gonna go rolling. So that's really nice. Um, I will say too that the tubes that Toho Seed Beads and Starman Beads come in are great for travel too. Um, they just make it so easy to pick these up and take them with you. They're really nice, compact. They'll fit in your bead buddy, your little travel bag. If you use a makeup bag to bring all your beads with you, it works really well. Um, so definitely t check out the tubes for the Toho seed beads and the Starman beads. There's lots to choose from, so you'll definitely find beads that you'll like for that. Also love 
bead stoppers. Um, the prices for everything are, are on our website and I do have links in the video description for everything and everything's on sale right now during our friends and family savings event. Um, so we've got bead stoppers too. These are going to be great if you're doing bead stringing on the go and you need to um, take a break or put your things back into your traveling case. This is going to save you big time these bead stoppers. So let me get some jewelry wire and show you how this works works. So first of all, you would put one on one in so you can string your beads without them falling off as you string them. So let's string on a few here. And we've got all of our little seed beads in place on our tacky mat. They're not going anywhere. You can see that they don't, they don't roll around even if I bump the table, move the table, even if my fingers bump them while they're on the mat, they don't go flying. So that's, the tacky mat is great. We've got this clear tacky mat and a blue tacky mat too that just, they work so well. All right, so we've got a few beads on the strand. We're going, 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 you know. Oh, our flight landed. Well, now we gotta go, but we're not done stringing, but that's okay because we have a bead stopper. So you put a bead stopper on the other end and then your project is saved while you're in progress. So they're not gonna fall off if you put them back in your Bead Buddy Junior travel case or your makeup bag or wherever. Um, so those are really gonna come in handy. These come in handy at home too. We always like to have um, our bead stoppers. <laughs> so gotta have those for travel as well. I'm trying to see your guys' comments. Uh, no, these don't, the tacky mat does not give the beads a weird residue at all. You don't even, even when you're touching it, you can feel it's kind of sticky, but it doesn't leave a residue on your hands or anything. So no, the mat will not give your beads a weird residue, but it works really well in keeping your beads in place for sure. All right, so we've got the tacky mat, we've got our tubes of beads, we've got our bead stoppers. Bead scoop is also a really great thing to have while you're traveling. I love this shape of bead scoop. Um, that tapered edge is really nice for getting beads back into tubes and bags like this. And it just makes it really easy to scoop and put things back in. And it's got a slim, kind of a slim shape. So this is going to fit really nicely in your, your bead buddy, your bag, anywhere you want to put it, it's going to fit really nicely. So definitely have a bead scoop on hand when you're traveling. Makes it so much easier to put things back in tubes and baggies. So gotta have the bead scoop when you're traveling as well. Wonderful. All right, so those are great travel items too. And you might be wondering, what can I take with me for tools? Well, we have a lot of different options for that as well. Um, love this little beaters mini travel kit. This kind of has everything you need. Um, so this comes in this great little carrying case. So super easy to fit in your bag. And it has these little tools too. So almost every tool you need is here. You've got flat nose pliers, you've got cutters, and you've got round nose pliers. So you can be doing some cutting, you can be doing some wire working, and then it also comes with this adorable little bead tray for stringing up your patterns. You can put all your beads in here and kind of string up your pattern and see how long that's gonna be. I love this and I love the case that it comes in. The case is so handy for travel too. And don't forget you also have a pair of tweezers here. So wonderful little mini travel kit. I just love this one. I love how compact it is. The carrying case for it is great. Um, just a great little kit. And you don't have to keep this little plastic thing. You could just put your tools in there loosely. They'll all fit. So that's wonderful. Um, really great little traveling carrying case there. So this is a wonderful mini travel kit that we have at artbeads.com that comes with all the little tools you might need. Need. We also have a wonderful set of just miniature pliers. So just these cute little round nose, chain nose pliers. There's cutters included too. Love these for taking up less space in your travel. Uh, baggage and your little carrying case and your carry-on um, in your suitcase. These are really great if you want to bring your tools but you don't want them taking up so much space or adding too much weight. These little tools or the mini travel kit are great. Um, if you want 
bigger, more regular sized tools, but you don't want to bring as many. The beetle on multipliers are going to help you out too. These are three and two tools in one. And I know they look a little intimidating, but they're super easy to use. We do have a video where Wyatt White from Beetle on shows you how to use these. Super easy. And once you get it down, not only will you have to bring less tools with you, um, it does cut your working time down by quite a significant amount because you don't have to set a tool down, pick another tool up. It's all in one hand. So once you get that technique down, not only will you save space in your travel luggage, but you'll also be saving yourself time while you're beating. So that is um, a nice bonus. So definitely check out the multipliers if you're traveling and you want full size tools, but you kind of want to cut down on the amount you're bringing. These might be the option for you. So there's lots of option for travel. If you want to bring tools, um, we've got those beetle on multipliers. We've got the miniature tools for you and we've got the beaters mini travel kit. And those are all available at artbeads.com. So definitely check those out. I've got the links in the video description too. You could also go for just a nice tool set that comes in a nice carrying case. So really compact, easy to Bring. They're already all in this carrying case. They all have spots, designated spots. You just fold this up, zip it up, and you're ready to take this in your bag or your carry-on. Um, you could definitely go for the full tool set case as well. I like the cases because they just all have their, their little designated spots. So that's really nice for travel too. I kind of, I like to do that in my suitcase with my clothes. I bought these little, um, storage cubes they're just little fabric cubes that zip up so you can organize your clothes based on the cubes so like sometimes i'll have a cube for swimsuits cube for dresses so on and so forth so it's just nice to be organized when you're traveling and the tool sets can definitely help you with that i've got a couple of my favorites linked in the video description as well so really wonderful items for travel now we do have we might want to invest in some beads for travel some special beads i know you probably have beads that you're working on for your projects but maybe you want some beads that like inspire you during vacation i really like these little um bead recipe boxes that have these color coordinated pieces with fun shapes um these are great for travel because you've got this cute little compact box you've got a lot of fun colors to work with but they all work together so these are really great for travel our seed bead blends um, would also be good for travel too because you've got a nice mix of color coordinated seed beads and a nice little tube that's easy to take with you while traveling so these are great for beading on the go as well and we have lots of different um I options to choose from for something like this we've got these bead recipes we've got designer blends the jesse james bead mixes would also be really great for something like this um wonderful options for beading on the go another great thing that i like for travel that i think would work really well um are our little findings sets these are really great so these little finding sets come with uh, clasps dump rings crimp tubes everything that you need to complete your jewelry designs and i just love these little compact cases i think those would be good for travel as well so definitely check out our little our little sets or bead mixes for your traveling needs because everything's all compact put together in a nice little case that's easy to throw in your bag um, really wonderful so definitely check out those little mixes um, wonderful options for traveling at artbeads.com so let's let's kind of do an overview again of what we've got here you've got the beetle on tacky mat that's going to be great for um, on your car dashboard on the plane trip um, on a train it's not gonna your beads are not gonna roll around this mat is gonna stay in place you've got your handy dandy scoop that's gonna keep everything tidy for when you have to put your beads back wherever they came from definitely invest in our bead tubes or our bead mixes these are great for traveling on the go um, our designer blends also great for on the go You'll need your bead stoppers for sure. That's going to keep your beads in place while you're beading. So if you don't quite finish your strands while traveling, they're not going to fall off. You're going to want some tools. So definitely take a look at our miniature tools. 
beetle on multipliers, you'll have to bring less tools and you'll cut down your, your beading time because these are really efficient. Um, and also check out our beaders mini travel kit, which comes with tools and a nice little bead board. Yeah, if, you, if you're just getting here, this video will be available forever. You can watch the replay, check out all of these products and tips in detail. You can also invest in a tool set. And don't forget my favorite little travel buddy, the Bead Buddy Junior Travel Case, which I have decorated with all kinds of stickers. Um, it's a really great traveling bead board that clasps shut um, and has a bead mat on each side so you can put all your stuff in here. Let's show that off. I've got my beads, my tools. I need everything in here. Let's see. We've got our finished piece and it just fits in there so nicely and it actually closes really tightly too. So um, it's really, it'll keep everything in place nicely. So let me make sure that everything is in place here. Yes, yes. There we go. And then you just clasp it shut. So that's with everything in there. And I'm shaking it. You can't really hear things shaking around in there. Everything stays in place really nicely. So love the Be A Buddy Junior travel case. Use this all the time. And I believe it does come, let me get one that I have in um, its original packaging here. It comes with a little um, stringing uh, template like the mini travel kit does. So this is what it looks like when you get it brand new without all the stickers in it. Yeah, it comes with one of these. So you can um, string out your necklace and kind of size it that way. So that's really handy too. Um, I just love this guy. Let's see if I can open this without destroying the outer packaging. There we go. Yeah, this one has it. It's this guy. So you can string your beads and the beads will kind of stay in place with this um, on the mat. And then you can see kind of how long your necklace is. So that's nice. And that does come with the Bead Buddy Junior Travel Case. So really wonderful investment piece. Like I said, I use it all the time. Um, take it everywhere. <laughs> It is a must for travel. And I do like decorating it with stickers. It's fun to find stickers from different locations and decorate it. I need another one just so I can decorate it with more stickers. All right, well, those are my beading on the go tips for you all. I hope that that's inspiring. And if you are traveling, whether you're driving, flying, taking a train, um, you can use these items to help you bead on the go. Um, take your creativity with you everywhere. That's what we like to see. Um, let me know your beading on the go tips and tricks in the comments. You guys always have such good ideas, so I'd love to hear how you guys beat on the go, what you use to keep everything neat and tidy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and inspiring. Let me know your tips for beating on the go in the comments and make sure to leave a like. And as always, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you again so much and I will see you next time. Bye.